What's up people, this is Fluffy Bunny, Viva La Android, and today I have a photo editing tutorial for you guys. A lot of you have been wanting this for a while, so here it is. And before we get started, here are the top pictures of the week on Instagram, hashtag Viva La Android. Now if you want your picture to be here on the next episode, make sure to tag your picture Viva La Android on Instagram. I'll check it out. If I like it, I'll put it on my next video. And for this edit, you're going to need two apps. The first one's called Fonto and the second one's called Photoshop Touch. Now, Fonto is free, but Photoshop costs money. Now, I'll have a link for it for free down in the description of the video. Just click it and you should be able to download it. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this picture right here where you have a bunch of text right here. And the text itself is a picture. So, it's really easy and simple, but it's a process to go through to get this effect. And I'll show you guys how to do it. First off, you want to go into Fonto and just click right here in the top right and make a new plane image and just use a black image you need you want the background to be black and just press use and there we go now I'm using a square picture because it's just for Instagram that works perfect you want to click the pen tool and just type whatever you want now I'm gonna put Viva La Android okay so I have Viva La that's the first part and I'm gonna make this not that big but and place it like around the middle now the text that you do doesn't have to be in the middle you can put it wherever you want I just like to align it up it just looks neat and then I'll take the Android. If you want to line up your word to the other word, you put it right with the beginning, you press size, and when you, once you resize it, it's going to go right with the other word because the side doesn't move. So I have Viva La Android. Just under, I'm going to put at I am the fuff, my Instagram username. It's a nice touch. Here we go. I have it. And this one's going to be kind of small. And you just want to put it right there. And once you finish your text like this, just press save you're done with Fonto and then you want to launch Photoshop you want to click new and then click from photo library and open that picture we just did it's gonna be in a folder called Fonto okay so I opened up the picture and in the bottom right corner right here in the Photoshop app you're gonna see this the options for the layers you want to click it you want to click the plus sign you want to click photo layer and then from here you can put whatever picture you want either from the camera or the photo library. I chose a picture from my photo library and just to expand it to go like to fit the box and once that's done you want to click check. Now as you can see this picture is blocking the other one and what you want to do now is click this again and hold your finger here and just drag it under this one. So now the text is on top of the picture itself. You want to click the text right here, the photo of it right here on the right and click this layer icon right here next to the plus sign you want to click that there's going to be an option called blend mode and now you want to click this and click multiply now after you click multiply you see that only the text is showing the picture now you can mess around with these options if you click like overlay you see that it gives it that cool effect just go through them and try them out for yourself but multiply is what we're going for right here when you do this you want to click the picture right here maybe if it's off or something if you click the picture and then you go to this and sign right here there's an and logo you click it and then you click transform and then now you can move the picture around I'm gonna keep mine like that and once you press check it keeps it like that and then now that you have the picture selected you can actually go to effects and put effects on the background picture and it'll show up on the picture if I add the sleepy hollow effect you see that it shows up in the background which is pretty cool just you can go around mess around with the colors saturation and there's a bunch of effects that you get with the Photoshop app itself okay now the next thing that you want to do you're probably not gonna notice on the camera but if you see right here you can you can kind of see the background of the image and the picture that you might put might show the black kind of you can see the background image now you don't want that you want the black part to be completely black what you do to fix that is you go to that knob right there the third icon down I guess and you want to go to brightness and contrast for the contrast you want to bring it all the way up and just press check and you're done from that once you're done if you want to save it you click done press save now it's not gonna save it in a picture format right now it's just saving it as a project you want to click this bottom right icon right here and then you want to click save to gallery click the picture which you just made and then you can choose either you want to save it as PNG or JPEG I'll keep mine as JPEG and press OK and now that's done saving now after you're done with the picture and everything you want to go to Instagram upload the picture to Instagram and hashtag it Viva La Android you do that and I'll 
like every single picture that's tagged on Vivo Android, I always do that. And just upload it. You might have a chance of being on my next video. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my username is I'm the Fluff. Make sure to follow me on that. And here's this week's comment of the week. I appreciate all the comments you guys have been leaving. You guys are so nice. I loved all of the comments. Now, I do read every single comment. I might not reply to every single one, but I do read every single one. It'll be hard replying to each one. But yeah, thank you for all the comments. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave me a like. A lot of you have requested this video. And if you got Android, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to share this video. And like always, Android for life. Peace. We could lose it all. Would you feel comfortable with the man you used to call? Tyrone call him Henderson. Working every hour, every second, every day. Just so they will remember him. Everything that he stands for. Everything he embraces. So if yes is what the case is. Um, baby, we don't need a better judge. No, just trying to do what they never does. So, let's just let the past be the past. And girl, I just really want to ask. If